Hello friends, so today I'm going to be showing you a different way to cover your toppers, your blanks. So I've shown a way to do it with uh, cardstock or photo paper. And today we're going to be doing some nail polish. And if you don't have UV light, another option is Dimensional Magic. It Gives the same effect as topping it with resin, but you don't need to uh, cure it, so that's kind of a bonus. Uh, so I have some white toppers here. They're just they're kind of they're misprints, so I'm just gonna top them, or they have imperfections, and so I figured that was a good one to show you guys. I grabbed some nail polish from the dollar store. Um, if you're gonna be just doing nail polish, I would recommend like a gel polish. Um, bear in mind, I've never actually done nail polish. I just know it's something you can do. So we're just going to coat it in some nail polish. Uh, you can sand it. And then give it a wipe with some alcohol just to make sure that they're clean. I always sand my toppers after I print them so I'm pretty confident that they're good. And we're just gonna coat this whole thing. I also grabbed some sequins and stuff. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to coat it in nail polish. I'm gonna throw on some sequins. And then I'm going to do some dimensional magic on top to show you guys. So, la -da -da. And it's just uh, different ways to be able to decorate your toppers because not everybody has a Cricut. Um, not everybody has UV lights. And that's okay, there's different ways to be able to do it. Uh, another way you can do it is washi tape. But again, like that's really best if you have a Cricut, otherwise you're trying to cut around um, the frame and there's no guarantee that it's gonna be all nice. Sorry. I'm trying to like talk and do this at the same time. I kind of get in my little zone where I'm like mm -hmm -hmm. and then I remember oh yeah I'm filming I should probably say something. So yeah I got the nail polish at the dollar store. I got a bunch of sequins and pearls and stuff at the dollar store. Because I was there grabbing stuff, so I was like, oh, oh yes. Somebody asked me about nail polish on toppers, so I'm going to do a video. You probably should let this dry in between coats. I'm just, just for the sake of doing a video, I'm kind of going to skip that step. I'm just going to make sure it's coated everywhere. Because I really want to show you the dimensional magic. So, like, so dimensional magic is actually what I started using first. Um, but it's not self leveling like UV resin. So. You have to make sure it's completely leveled all around. Otherwise, it's not going to look nice. So what I wanted to do with this, my goal was to just throw some in the corners. So with toppers or things like this on top, you're not going to be able to stack them, obviously. Just going to throw some here. 
I saw the gold and then I saw that this nail polish kit had this like nice green and blue. I'm like, yes, these are the colors. I kind of feel like doing a brow though. Now that I put it on, I'm like, oh, let's do the brow. I got a thing about, I don't know what it is about um, brows. And you see like the tops of the um, topper. Like just the brow done. I love it. I just different and um yeah, so I'm just kind of pressing it down with nail polish. I mean the world is your oyster when it comes to decorating. You do you don't worry what a I like you might know what like um how I'm doing this and that's what I do. That's what I love about blanks is you get to do like your own artistic flair and just like have at her. It's like, I really want this. I'm like, okay, let's do it. And that's what I do with like designs when people ask me for custom to like, well, what do you want? Well, can you do this? Heck yes. Let's figure it out. All right. So I'm not gonna, because I'm just trying to show you guys. So... This is what we got here so far. As you can see, like, the nail polish isn't coated because I only did, like, basically one and a half coats. So I would let it dry and keep coating it till it looks nice and opaque. I'm going to give this Dimensional Magic a shake because I haven't used it in a while. So Dimensional Magic comes looking cloudy, but it, um, dries clear. So this is the kind of stuff you could use to cover your photos. Is it locked? Probably because I haven't used it in forever. Come on. I'm probably going to have to cut it. It looks like it dried. Come on, you. No. Yeah, I don't really use Dimensional Magic too often anymore um, because I have like the resin and like I already have a curing chamber so I don't really have a use for Dimensional Magic. Probably should have checked. Make sure that this was like good before I decided to go on a video but you know me. Maybe you don't. One second here. Just gonna grab my scissors and I'm gonna cut it. I don't wanna cut too much because then it's gonna really like right in there. Can't even open it. Oh yeah, looks like it's okay. We're gonna have batter. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, be careful. And um, to get rid of, so it's gonna bubble just like resin does. And to get rid of the bubbles, what you're gonna do? A couple options. You can take a lighter to it, but <laughs> just be careful because you've got nail polish and stuff on it, and it's kind of flammable. Or what you can also do is spray it with some rubbing alcohol or isopril. We're just going to make sure we cover all the edges, but you don't want to go over the edges. So this is what I don't like about Dimensional Magic is it's not very forgiving. And it takes forever to dry. Uh, I can throw it in the curing chamber to make it go faster that's what I started doing because I don't know why but I was scared of UV resin I was like oh it seems like a really difficult process I don't know guys and so I didn't want to get into it and then I was like one day I'm at Michael's I'm like you know what I'm gonna try it and I did and it was way easier than this Granted, like, it does um, have an extra step with the uh, curing, 
under a UV lamp, so if you don't already have one. And I find with this, if it runs off, they all start running off. So that's kind of a pain. But what you can do is kind of, instead of squeezing the bottle, I'm just dragging what's already on my topper. And um, if you go like really thick in the corners, it takes a really long time to dry. And I'm like, it's crazy how long this stuff takes to dry. Like you kind of got to leave it for the day. Come back. And hope it'll be dry. It's pretty crazy how long it takes. But it is, like I, like I said, it gives you the same. We're going to. Okay, well that didn't work. So. We're going to try and pop these bubbles because I see a couple big ones. And that did not work. So I'm going to grab my lighter apparently. And just in case the lighter does not work, I grab some snips. <laughs> yeah, so we won't put the lighter on it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. What not to do. <laughs> so we're going to call this a topper fail. Um, yeah. So no lighters. <laughs> Holy shnikey. Okay. That was terrifying. On this video, Jessica just tried to burn down her house. Okay, so as you can see, it's, uh, it is, it's done. But uh, because I had to move it, there was some runoff. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Oh, that was frightening. I'm sorry. I kind of freaked out. Oh, I'm not using a lighter with nail polish and dental magic. <laughs> yeah, let's call that a topper fail. 100%.